Hey, I'm Richie. Welcome to my kitchen. Let's cook Dungeness crab risotto. At first glance, maybe this seems overwhelming. It is not. This is actually a one pot dish. You can do it all in one big heavy sauce pan. May I recommend a Proclamation Goods Duo pan? It's an ingenious design because this is also a lid. First thing, let's crack open the crab. We're gonna look for about a cup worth of crab meat. You're gonna need about two clusters. Just break at the knuckle, crack the shell in half, pull out the meat. These big claws might take a little extra power. Just use the back of your knife, gently crack it. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. We're gonna take all these crab shells and we're gonna make a seafood stock out of it. So you only need about a cup of this, so I don't know, eat the rest. Now we're gonna start our water boiling and we're gonna make a stock. So we're gonna add our water, bay leaf and uh, peppercorns, and then just add your crab shells. I'll turn this on high, bring it up to a boil, then bring it down, simmer 15, 20 minutes. In the meantime, let's dovetail. We're gonna finely mince one shallot. Pull the outer layer off, save this, put it in your stock. It looks good to me. About a tablespoon worth of uh, chives, plus a little more for garnish. Meyer lemon. Get about a quarter cup of Parmesan. Mm, cheesy. Then we're gonna trim about a cup of microgreens or pea shoots. Ah, wine. Nice dry wine. Pinot Grigio, uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Something that's nice and dry, fruity. That's gonna deglaze our risotto when we're ready for it. This is an $8 bottle from our local vineyard down the road next to the gas station. It's three buck chuck. I mean, it smells like the ocean in the most beautiful way. Now don't rush this, you really wanna develop the flavor of the stock. That's nice, needs a little more time. This is like a pretty fast recipe, minus the stock. So make your stock ahead of time, put it in the freezer and then pull it out, it'll be way quicker. While you're waiting, check my messages. I have none. Ah. Yeah, a little saltier, uh, a little deeper. It's perfect. Strain this with a fine mesh strainer, and you're gonna get about four cups or so. At this point, you've probably done all you can with these shells, and you can compost them. Now, if you pour gently, you're gonna get that gray cinnamon on the bottom. You don't wanna use that. So pan goes right back on the heat, medium low. Then you're gonna heat your oil up, and then we're gonna add our shallots. The one pot wonder, baby. The one pot wonder. A little pinch of salt. You don't want to fry these, you just want to turn them translucent. You're going to infuse that oil with some of this nice shallot, this garlicky onion flavor. Is there anything better than a shallot? I don't think so. Now we're going to add our rice. About three minutes, you're going to keep stirring this until it turns fragrant. And this arborio rice is so beautiful, kind of nutty, but subtle. It kind of smells like popcorn. Get your wine ready. We're gonna deglaze with about a quarter cup of white wine. You're just gonna stir until that's all absorbed. Just a pinch of salt, two pinches of salt. So that wine is absorbed already, but it's perfect, it doesn't take very long. Now we're gonna add, before it starts burning, about a cup of the stock. And keep stirring until it starts to absorb. And you're just gonna keep adding about a half a cup to a cup at a time. And once it's absorbed, then you're gonna add another cup. So this whole process is probably the most delicate. It's a little bit like making a roux where you really don't want to walk away or can walk away from it. And this is gonna take you about 25 minutes or so. Really make sure you're getting all these little grains of rice along the side down into the heart of the pan. You're gonna know when this is done, when it's gonna turn creamy, but it still has a little bite in it. A thick walled pan is, uh, is really important to retain your heat so you're not fluctuating up and down. You wouldn't wanna do this in a wok, for instance. This Proclamation Goods pan is built perfectly for risotto. I think the only thing it doesn't do is make ice cream. It's really releasing those starches. You can see that, that white, almost pasty liquid now on the bottom. Now it's far from being done, but I wanna taste it anyway. And the flavor's building. It's just you, the rice, and the stock and your spoon. It's simple, it's beautiful, I love that. If you finished your broth and your um, risotto isn't where it needs to be, add a little chicken broth to it. Worst case scenario, add a little bit of water. I'm gonna have to add a little broth. I, um, I need it. Don't give up now though, you guys. Your risotto depends on it. There it is, we did it. 
All right, now I'm gonna pull this off, let it set. It's gonna have some carryover heat. Now you're gonna keep that burner on, and if you got the duo, well, lucky you, just throw your lid on that burner. We're gonna do a little knob of butter. So I'm gonna melt that butter, and then we're gonna add the crab, and just gonna heat it through. We're not frying it, we're not um, cooking it too long, we're just heating it through with a little salt and pepper. Not much salt, I mean, the ocean has made our crab salty enough. And then a little pepper. Again, gentle with your crab. You don't wanna break it up too much because you really want you know, substantial bites of crab in your risotto so it doesn't get lost in, in the rice. So now we're gonna add our Parmesan, most of our chives, save some for garnish, and then our lemon juice, half of a lemon, a little pepper. I would wait to salt it until you try it. Yeah, it doesn't need salt. But that lemon is incredible. I actually want a little bit more. Man, I mean, that's what acid does, right? Acid's a pop brings out flavor. We're almost there. We're gonna separate some of the bigger chunks to the side and we're gonna fold in the rest, okay? Just gently fold this in. We're done. This is it. Now we're just gonna plate it and add the garnish. I said it many times, the beauty of this dish, you can do it all, basically one pot. Dungeness crab risotto with Meyer lemon and pea shoots. Thanks for joining us. Try this dish. Stay wild, and we'll see you next time. Oh, big flavors like this need a big spoon.